Hi everyone, my name is Sebastian. Welcome to Albijara's channel. Today I am with Zohre. I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zohre Maliki. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for letting me visit you. You You're just welcome. came out of Elebeck prison. Yeah. And uh, now we are today here in your sister's apartment. Mm. And you live in an asylum center now. Mm. Uh, when did you come out of Elebeck prison? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah. And how are you doing now? Um, I'm uh, good, but I'm uh, worried or sad about Iran because Iran have a big problem now. Yeah. yeah I'm worried. Yeah, I understand yeah, that. Yeah. And we are many uh, Christians that have been praying a lot for you when mm -hmm. you were in Elebeck. Yeah, thank uh, you. Yeah. So I'm I really know. happy to see that you are free now. You are out here. And now you're waiting for your asylum case again. Yeah. Why did you leave Iran and come to Denmark? Uh, because I'm Christian. I had a problem with the government in Iran. Okay, so you yeah. were a Christian in Iran also? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And why did you choose to become a Christian? Because uh, this has come from my heart. I think uh, God uh, chose me for uh, this. Yeah. But... Uh, I like uh, Christian, I like Jesus, because every time uh, helped me in my life. Yeah. yeah. So you did not choose Jesus just to come to Denmark? No. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And what do you think will happen if you go back to Iran now? Uh, because I'm Christian, if uh, I come back to Iran, police catch me or kill me okay yeah so it's very serious yeah yeah did you commit any crime since you went to Elebeck prison no 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 <laughs> <laughs> so so why do you think they put you in the prison uh, because uh, they want to uh, um, deport me to Iran yeah. yeah but Iran have a big problem now I don't know why. yeah yeah so if they don't take you to prison they are thinking maybe you will uh, Escape and stay secretly in yeah, Denmark. Yeah. Yeah. And I think there could be many Danish people who would like to help you with that. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, I understand why uh, they need to make some um, some security of that. But it's uh, it's not easy to be in prison. Uh, no, no. And especially not when you did not do anything. Yeah. You just want to have a life in freedom. Yeah. Yeah. When you were in prison, how how did you feel? Uh, every night cry or yeah. pay or ask it, Jesus help me for help me. Or, yeah. Yeah. Or uh, I had the stress, yeah. a lot of stress. Yeah. Because every night I ask it, uh, deport me. Yeah. yeah. So you had stress because you thought maybe tomorrow they will yeah, deport yeah, you. Yeah. 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 But do you think Jesus he helped you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fully. <laughs> yeah, because now you are not in uh, Elebeck mm, anymore. Yeah. yeah, we will continue to pray that your uh, case will be accepted and you can stay in Denmark. I hope. Yeah. Yeah. Before you got rejected, you were working in Denmark. Yes, I work in, I, uh, worked in uh, Playa. Yeah. yeah. During the election, many of the politicians, they said that it's stupid to send out people who are working and well integrated. Yeah. But it's still happening. They are still sending out people of the country who are like you, who are mm. good people and uh, who are working and uh, are well integrated. Uh, but we hope that this situation will change mm. now, that some of the uh, politicians in power, they will uh, make some new rules that makes it more easy for people like you to stay. Yeah. We have also seen uh, politicians, they cut off some mm -hmm. of their hair yeah. and they participate in uh, protests. Yeah. And uh, I hope they will fight in the same way for you and for your case. Yeah. Uh, because uh, it's just symbolic if you cut your hair. But mm -hmm. uh, it's a situation like yours that uh, really needs help. You know? yeah. yeah. But uh, I'm so happy that you got... Uh, your case reopened, and yeah, you have a good, uh, yeah, yeah, and you have a good lawyer. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He is very good. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. Is there something you would like to say to the people watching here? 
Uh, I uh, thank you for support me or oh, thank you for uh, coming or oh, I hope uh, Iran gets uh, free yeah yeah or oh, everybody in close camp uh, come out yes. or uh, have a normal life yeah exactly yeah, yeah. that's a good wish yeah. and uh, yeah thank you for showing up for this interview <laughs> you're welcome and thank you everyone for watching please share Zohre's uh, story so that many people will be aware of this and uh, don't forget to follow Al Bishara on Facebook and YouTube God bless you bye thank you <laughs> bye.